Okay, let's say we want to find the distance between 6, 4, and 3, negative 2. So one thing I could do would be to plot these points. So 6, 4 might be up here. 3, negative 2 would be down here. Oh, no, not down there. How about 3, negative 2? How about down here? Okay, then we want to find the distance. So I want to figure out how far apart they are. So one method I could do would be to form a right triangle between these two points. So my distance from 4 to negative 2 would be 4 and then negative 2, so that would be a distance of 6. From 6 to 3 would be 3. And then I made a right triangle, so I could use the Pythagorean theorem, and I could say 6 squared plus 3 squared equals x squared. 6 squared is 36, plus 9 equals x squared, so I'd have 45 equals x squared. I'm going to square root, so I end up with the square root of 45 equals x. Now, I don't want to have to plot a triangle in a chord and make a triangle and plot points every time I do this. So, we do have something called the distance formula. So, the distance formula says... You're going to subtract your y-coordinates. You're going to subtract your x-coordinates. You'll square those. You'll add them together. And then finally, you'll square root. So it's a play on the Pythagorean theorem. So if I subtract my y-coordinates, I'm going to end up with negative 2 minus 4. I'm going to square that. So that would be negative 6. When I square that, I end up with 36, and you'll see that's what I had here. So when you subtract, you're finding the distance right over here that you found, that's 6. Plus, I'm going to subtract my y-coordinates, so 6 take away 3. I'll square it. 6 take away 3 is 3. And then we'll square it, and you'll see that that matches this that we found. And when we square it, we end up with 9. And then finally, we'll add those together. So 36 plus 9 is 45. And I'm going to square root that. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So once again, I want to find the distance between negative 1, negative 4, and 8, 1. So I can just use the distance formula, which says y minus y. So 1 take away negative 4, I'll square it, plus subtract your x-coordinates, and then square them, and then finally add them together and square root. So 1 take away negative 4 is 5, 5 squared is 25, plus 8 minus negative 1 is 9. When I square that, I end up with 81, and I have to square root all this, 25 plus 81 is 106, so I have the square root of 106. Okay, last example of the distance formula. So I have 4, ne 10, negative 3, negative 4. And once again, I'm going to do uh, y minus y, so negative 4 minus 10, I'll square it, plus same thing with the x-coordinates, so negative 3 take away 4, I'll square it, I'm going to add them together, and then finally square root. So I have negative 14 squared, plus negative 3 minus 7 would be negative 7 squared, that's 49. 14 squared, if I'm remembering correctly, is 196, so 14 times 14 is 196. 196 plus 49 is the square root of 245. So you'll notice whenever I square, I end up with a positive because I'm doing negative 14 times negative 14 or negative 7 times negative 7. When I have two negatives, I have to have a positive answer. All right, we're going to use this information tomorrow in class. Thanks for watching.